Sodium. It is one of the best performance mods in Minecraft. It can take you from 20 FPS to over 100 plus FPS. I've seen some people go from even like 20 FPS to 200 or 300 FPS, but that's not always the case, but usually you can at least double your FPS and make Minecraft playable if it isn't before. For example, it's kind of hard to play at 20 FPS, but if you can double that to 40 FPS, that's playable. That's very playable and um, worth doing and worth installing Sodium to get that performance boost. So first things first, we want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth text guide on getting sodium. Once you're here, you just want to scroll down and click this download sodium button, assuming you want to use the video guide, which you probably do because you found the video guide, but if you're more interested in the text guide, that's here for you as well. Once you're here on Modern, this is where all of Sodium's files are hosted. Go up here to versions, and then you want to find the 1.20.6 version of Fabric. And there's a lot here, and if you do have issues finding it, you can just click here at the top and then filter by 1.20.6 once it's available. Uh, this literally came out like minutes ago, so it's not, but this 1.20.6 version here is what we want. We can click on that and then go ahead and click on download here and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. While this is downloading, how about from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truthfully customize the server any way that you want. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and now download Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that allows Sodium to talk to Minecraft. So think about Minecraft and Sodium and then Fabric sits between those two, allowing them to talk to each other. We have a link in the description down below to here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Fabric. We've also got an in-depth video guide, but we're going to be going over most of what you'll need to know unless you run into the very specific issues in this video. Once you here, click on download fabric and that will take you to fabrics official download page here where we want to download the universal jar this little link here under download for windows download universal jar that's what we want to click and again you may need to keep or save it nevertheless let's go ahead and minimize our browser and move this to our desktop these are going to be found in our downloads folder they might be in your downloads folder or wherever files normally download for you and then move them to our desktop don't worry these are going to be here at the end of the video but it's just easier to access them from your desktop. Now let's go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. At that point, the Fabric installer should open unless it doesn't. You may not have Java. If you don't have Java when you open with, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Or if you have Java and you click OK and it doesn't work, I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. That is because in Minecraft 1.20.5, the previous version of this one, you had to get Java 21 for Minecraft mods to work. So if you can't open with Java or you don't have Java at all, you need to come to this link in the description down below. It's how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers, and it gets Java 21 here. You want to download that, install it. This guide shows you how to do that, all of that stuff, and then you should be able to open up Fabric with Java. If you still can't, you might need to run the Java fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. At this point though, we can go ahead and install Fabric by right clicking on Fabric, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer here where you want to make sure 1.20.6 is selected and then click Install. Now at this point the only reason it wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. You're going to want to make sure both of those are closed or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.6 before just go play Minecraft 1.20.6 open it to the main menu, close out of it and then you'll be able to install this. Basically Fabric needs those files for that version on your computer for it to be able to install. But as you can see for us it has successfully installed. So we can go in and click OK, close out of the Fabric installer and actually delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now it's time to install Sodium. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, what we'll want to do is make sure we have that fabric installation. Don't play Minecraft. Even if you have the fabric installation, don't play Minecraft, but come up here to the top and click on installations. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, there's no fabric installation here, but if we check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Fabric Loader 1.20.6, go ahead and click new installation. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the versions drop down here, and you want to select release fabric loader 1.20.6. So release fabric loader 1.20.6. There you go. And then you want to change your resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game and click create. But do not play Minecraft yet. We need to install Sodium. To do this, hover over your fabric installation, either the one you created or the one that's there by default, and then click on the folder icon. That'll open up your Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder. But if you don't, no worries. I don't have a mods folder. It's not there. Just right click, create a new folder, and title it mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And open up your mods folder. 
Then drag and drop Sodium from your desktop into your mods folder, right like so. Once Sodium's in the mods folder, come back to Minecraft and play Minecraft using your fabric installation. When you do that, Minecraft will open up with Sodium installed, so I'll meet you on the main menu just to show you what that looks like. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. There's really no indication that Sodium is working. It's one of the downsides of Fabric. There's no like mods button or anything, but if we go into options and then we go into video settings, we'll be able to see all of Sodium's video settings here as well as this, you know, pop-up asking for you to buy them a coffee and support what Sodium does, which you should 100% do because it's amazing what they provide to the community. You can see all the different performance options and settings here. And by the way, if you're looking for shaders, that's not Sodium. That's actually something completely different. It's called iris shaders we have videos on it be sure to go check those out or subscribe to the channel for those incredible videos as they come out because uh, at the time this one goes up the next day is when we're going to upload our shaders video so be sure to subscribe that being said, sodium set up, but if you do want that best of both worlds, you want shaders, you want all of that, well, that's where our mod pack Notifying comes in. It has all of Optifine's features, but takes and updates faster than Optifine. Optifine's not updated at the time I'm making this, and it actually has better performance than Optifine in a lot of cases. It's completely server compatible, and it's just amazing. Shaders are installed by default. It's on CurseForge and Modern. They can be checked out in the description down below at those links, and you can just easily install it with just one click. But nevertheless, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.